This circuit workout is fun, high energy, and time efficient. We'll be using light, medium, heavy dumbbells and a band to maximize calorie burn and improve strength and muscular endurance. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to keep warming up, but we're gonna start moving into our cardio. So we're gonna start with just more moderate intensity cardio. Little boxing, little smattering of boxing. Tap forward, tap back. So make sure your feet are far apart, apart this way, this way. Okay, hands up, reach, reach. Doesn't have to be a punch. I just wanna get you twisting. So this foot is turned out in the direction you're stepping. Good, two more. Now back arm, give me a little uppercut, so just bring it up. See, I'm turning my shoulder, dropping that shoulder. Now give me three. One, two, three, one more. This leg, kick to the back. Stay on that leg, flex that foot, push back. Good, four more. Doesn't have to be high. We're just getting warmed up. Let's go back to that reach, reach, jab, cross. One more. Now uppercut three times. Kick back. Four more, and we're gonna switch sides. Two more. Now turn around, jab, cross. So twisting this way. Take a big step so that knee, back knee can turn. Reach, reach. Two more. Back arm. Reach up. Single uppercut. You always want to go easy on the shoulder. Now give me three in a row. One, two, three. Kick this leg back. Tip forward from the hip. Okay, four more. We put it together. Jab, cross. Uppercut. Now kick back. Two more. Give me a step touch. Are you getting warm? I hope so. Give me a grapevine. Grapevine, add one curl here. Okay, four more. Easy enough. Two more. Now step, reach up, then switch. And then give me a three. Repeater. Push off that front leg. Grapevine, one curl. One more each way. Reach up single. Repeater. Switch. Now out and in. Four more. Two more. Squat center. Sit back. Out and in this way. Okay, are you warmed up? Give me one more set of squats like this. <laughs> it's not the only squats we're doing. All right, four more of these, if you insist. Two more. All right, grab your loop if you got one. So depending on the resistance of your loop, there, um, you can put, keep it around the ankles. That's the hardest place, just above the knees or slide it up higher if it's too much. If you've got a really tight band and it doesn't allow you to open up, slide it up higher. Make sure it's never around a joint, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take three steps and then I'm gonna squat in place. Go back the other way. So I'm kind of in a half squat or a demi squat. Squat in place. And again. So my hips are back. Squat in place. One more. Squat in place. 
Now just this leg, lift, lift. Try not to offset by leaning away. Press out. So you can imagine if this was around your ankles, much harder, okay? Squat three. Hold it in place. This leg now, side. So you're keeping it tight here. Lifting from the side of my foot. Now three steps. Squat in place. This side. Four, three, two, three steps. Squat in place. This leg lift side. This is a good overall warm up for the hips, the quads. One more. Three steps. Squat in place. All right, keep that squat. Keep pressing outward. Now open up your knees a little more if you can. It really depends on your band. Four, three, two, one. Stay down. Forward, forward, back back. Try not to look like this, okay? If the band is too tight, like I said, slide it up. Let's put it all together, shall we? Lift this leg. Four, three, two, three steps. Get down there. Squat in place. All right, now come down. Go forward. Go back. Yep, yep. You don't feel a thing, do you? One more. <sighs> Lip side. Four, three, two, three steps. Squat in place. Now go forward and back. Guess what? We got one more set. You got four more. Try to stay in that squat. If you need to come up, do it. You need a break. Let's go through it one more time. Three steps on this side. Squat in place. Lift the leg side. You should be feeling your hips now. Squat down, forward and back. Keep that outward pressure. Two more. Oh yeah. All right, bring yourself up. Woo! My hips are talking to me. All right, I'm gonna go and go go ahead and go to my heavier weight. I got a 25. I got 8, 15, and 25. I'm gonna use one. I still got that dreaded loop on. <laughs> I'm gonna be hating life now. I I actually love doing hip work. Ever since I started focusing more on strengthening my hips. A lot less low back pain, hamstring pain. Shoulders back, lift your chest. Pressing outward, deadlift, RDL. Shift those hips back, squeeze your butt on the way up. Keep that outward pressure against that band. So keep those shoulder blades retracted. Now the reason I have one weight is because we're going to be doing one leg here soon. So if you want to have uh, more weight, feel free to grab two. Now I'm going to take my right leg forward, my left leg back. Single leg RDL. I'm going to put the weight in the opposite hand of that front leg. You could do it on the other hand, but when you do the opposite hand, you really feel the outside of that glute. So hinge. Let those hips shift back. Squeeze up. You don't have to get all the way to the floor. Abs tight. One more. We're going to switch sides. Switch legs. Switch hands. Most of the weight's on the front leg. Hinge. Now you may be stronger or more mobile on one side than the other. That's normal. Just make sure you work toward balance. 
you'll never be perfectly symmetrical, but we work toward that. Shoulder blades retracted. I love RDLs. Okay, one more. Center it up. One more set, both legs. Go. Keep pressing those knees outward. I promise you'll get to take the band off soon. Okay, four more. Remember, it's about the hinge, not just your upper body coming down. You see the difference? Shift your hips back, and that's your range of motion when they stop shifting. Two more for good luck. Press in those heels, squeeze your glutes on the way up, and set that down. Now you can take the loop off, but keep it handy, because we're not done with it. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, I'm gonna grab my medium weight 15, upper body, a little bit of shoulder. You may be going lighter and that is totally fine. So give me three curls. One, two, hold it up, press overhead. Back down. One, two, three, press overhead. So on that third one, give me that overhead press. Overhead. One more time. Now, stay at the top. Hold it here. Feet apart. Three more. One more. Bring it down. Supinator curl, twist. And down. One more. Hold it up. Bring your elbows up. Arnold press. Turn out. Turn in. Out. Elbows in. Ooh, I feel that. I hope you do. One more. Bring it down. Can we start over? Oh no! Hammer. Up. Back down. One more. It's catching up with me now. <laughs> up. Ugh. Bring it all the way up. Press. Now, if you start arching your back, go lighter or put a foot back. Three. Two. All the way down. Supinate. Two more. One more. Stay up. We got the Arnold curl. Lift your elbows. Press overhead. Bring the elbows in. It should be getting hard by now. Two more. Last one. Set that down. Okay, a little bit of water. A little sippy sip. Don't guzzle. You don't want to be sloshing. My giant water bottle. Okay, we got some cardio. Four drills. They're short, 30 seconds each. But I want you to work as hard as you want to work, of course. Okay, so start with a squat. Reach up. Time has not started. I will let you know when. <laughs> Make sure you can see my feet. I do have feet. All right, easy enough, right? Now, faster, or you can keep it slow. Just make sure you challenge yourself. Remember, the point is to get breathless. Even if it's low impact, get yourself out of breath. Ten seconds. You've got this. You can do this. Keep the abs in. Make sure you're not dropping that back. Three, two, one. Rest. 
We're gonna do it again. Each one just gets better, right? Get the repetitions in. All right, get ready. Three, two, go. Continuous motion. You need to rest, you rest. See if you can push it a little bit further though. Just a little bit. Ten seconds. Land softly. And time. Two more. See, nothing too complicated. Simple movement, but intense. All right, we got it again. And each one is going to get harder because you're going to fatigue. Three, two, go. Remember, don't add the impact if you don't want to. Just make sure the knees don't cave in. You press out, you drive up, you land softly if you're jumping. Three, two, one. You've got one more in you, you do. I do. We can both do this. Yeah? I cheer you on, you cheer me on. You could be cursing at me too, that's okay. <laughs> Last one. We're in this together. Go! Come on, you're awesome, you got this. You can do anything. Halfway. You can do hard things. I know you can. You've done them. We all have. Three, two, one. Woo. You know, this is what I love about fitness. <laughs> you can use it as an analogy for anything. I speak in fitness analogies. My friends and family know this. Okay, grab that loop again. My husband's like, yeah, I'm just getting the reps in. And I'm like, yeah. Fitness analogies. Now, I've talked about this movie before because it's my son's favorite childhood movie. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. The first one. His dad is a fisherman and speaks in fishing metaphors. <laughs> okay. Again, wide. I'm going to grab my heavier weight. I'm going to grab my 25. I want you to be able to open up a little more. If your band is too tight, slide it up a little bit. Chest, chest high. Weight high. Okay, down. Uh, now, see, I have a pretty stretchy band. Now, if you don't have a band, it's totally fine. Working on getting that depth of our squat. The reason we have this band is so our, we remember to engage our hips. A lot of times I see stuff like this. That means you're not engaging the strong muscles of your hips. Other muscles that shouldn't be working as hard end up compensating. Keep that weight high. Keep pressing outward. Two more. Last one. Okay, I'm going to bring this down. Very similar to that single leg RDL, but now it's more of a squat. It's really a, a deadlift as opposed to a Romanian deadlift. Wait. Opposite leg or opposite arm. You're bending now from the hip. 
and the knee. This leg is back just as a kickstand. This knee doesn't track forward. You gotta keep that back engaged and that's all the way down. Push against the floor. All right, give me two more. Drive the floor away, one more. Bring that weight back to your chest. We're back where we started. Turn it out. Should definitely be feeling those hips. <laughs> Down two. It also helps to get you deeper when your stance is wider. Opens up the hips. Less hinge required for the low back. You can be a little more upright. Knees tracking, same direction as your toes. Take your time coming up. Don't rush. You got four more. Keep that weight high. Actively pressing outward. One more. We're going to go to the other leg. So I'm going to put the weight opposite hand. Kick stand. And I bend. Push away. So I'm driving into my heel, squeezing my glute. My knee doesn't cover my toe. I can still see the bow on my shoe. Drive up. So even though I'm holding this way here, I'm not dropping that shoulder. I'm keeping it engaged. Shoulder blades retracted. Okay, you got two more. One more. Set it down. I recommend you go lighter. Lose the band. That's what I love about these bands. They're easy to put on and take off as opposed to those latex ones. I don't know what they're made of, silicone. I got my eights, just to give you an idea. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that hinge, but we're gonna do a rear fly. Make sure you squeeze those shoulder blades together. So hinge slowly, squeeze back, pause, down, up. We're gonna start slower. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then up. So it's not really about your arms. Retraction of the shoulder blade. So you sit back, bend the knees and the hips. Takes tension off the hamstring so your back doesn't have to work harder. All right, we're gonna go faster, but we're gonna add three flies. One, two, Three, come up, squeeze up. Oop. Two more. So the weight goes back and up. One more. All right, stand yourself up. Take one weight, turn it out, bring it down. Other way. So we're externally rotating through that shoulder. Let's go a little faster. If that feels too fast, keep it slower. Really good for the shoulder, open it up. So I keep a bend in my elbow. Four more. Last one. Okay, we're going back. Hinge. Slow. Not as many reps, though. One more slow. Lee. <laughs> Get my adverb. Now, down and three. One. Two. Three. One more like that. One. Two. Stand up. Twist, bring it up, serve it up. 
a little faster. Four, three, two, one. Set it down. All right. I'm going to tell off a bit. I've got the sweat dripping off the ski slope of my nose. <laughs> okay, we got our four drills. I don't know why I have to do it like I'm four years old. Four. Whenever I want my husband to come to me for something, I go like this. Come here. Come here. Like I'm a child. I pretty much, I'm just a tall child. Really, that's all it is. Okay, give me a jog. <laughs> Your jog could be lower. Okay, shift side to side. This is easy, right? You could be shaking your hips. Okay, circle the arms out. You could keep it low, but exaggerate your motion. So we're gonna do this one twice and then I'm gonna change it. And you only got 30 seconds. Make it bigger if you want. Little lateral movement, all that hip work. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, there goes my bun. <laughs> I get tired of my hair sticking to me. That's why I decided to do the little ballet bun. It's not really my style. We're going to do that again. If you're a bun person, more power to you. Here we go. I'm not good at the hairstyling thing. Can you make it bigger? Sure you can. Make it a dance move. Because we all know what a great dancer I am. Halfway. Only when no one sees me, right? <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, as promised, I'm gonna change it up. Tighten that ponytail. <laughs> we got a knee, front kick, knee, front kick. It's just gonna stay continuous on this leg for 30 seconds. Bend this leg, use your arms. Ready, go, knee, kick, knee, kick. Whoop. So you're standing on a bent leg. Halfway. Whoop. Little balance. Three, two, one. Obviously, we got to do the other leg, right? We don't want to walk out of here like that <laughs> okay ready set go knee front kick so if you've got really tight or weak hamstrings your kick might be lower that's okay just do it like you mean it kick them in the shin no I'm just kidding don't kick anybody You're using your arms, right? Three, two, one. Oh, easy peasy. A little water from my ginormous water bottle. Hashtag not a sponsor. Okay. <laughs> We're back to legs. A lot more strength today, which is a good thing. We all need more strength training, right? Lunges. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, yay, that's my favorite. Hey, me too. My favorite when I'm done. Okay, I'm going to grab my 15s. I always start on my right, so I'm going to start on my left. Okay, so I... I'm going to step back, hold, push up, 
back hold. Drive up into that front heel. I keep most of my weight forward toward the front leg, not shifting my weight back, okay, toward the front leg. That front knee stays right over your heel. Now stay back. Partial. Step in. You're going to do that again. Step back. Partial. Partial. Step in. And again. Two more like that. Step in. One more. Step in. Hinge. Tap back. Don't take that weight back. Keep it over that front leg. Two more. Last one. Step in. Did you feel it? I hope so. I don't want to be the only one. <laughs> we got the other side. So drive into that heel. Plant that heel. Step back and pause. Up. Keep the shoulders back, up. Watch that knee alignment on that front leg. Make sure you're taking a nice big step back. Remember, not most of your weight stays with that front leg. Okay, you're gonna step back. Give me the two partials. Step in. And again, back, partial, partial, all the way up. Two more. In, one more. All the way in, hold that, tap back, tap in. Weight stays over that static leg. Four. Three, two, stand up. Ow. Love to hate it. Hate to love it. <laughs> we got some rows. We need to work through that back. Now, it's been working all along on a lot of these things. So we're going to do a one-arm row. We're going to do a close grip row. We're going to do a horizontal row. More close grip than horizontal. Keep that in mind for your weight. So I went over and I grabbed a 20 instead of a 25. All right, hinge forward. Nice flat back. One, two. Now one horizontal elbow out. One, two, three. Take it out. Now, I'm on a beat, but don't worry. If that feels too fast to you, don't worry about the beat. Pull that shoulder blade back and in. Elbow out. Two more sets. Out. One more. Now, we're going to grab that weight horizontally between both hands. Stand up. Remember what side you did? Bring your feet in. Bend those knees. A little halo. Same way. Obviously, don't hit yourself in the head. Reach back as far as you can. Really good for the shoulders. Oh, a lot of core, too. You got two more. One more. Remember what way you went. I went the same as that arm. Other side. Remember, hinge forward. It helps if you have a nice wide stance, so it's easier for your back to be flat. Okay? Narrow three times. One, two, three. Now out, and again. So your hips are not tucked under. Out. You got four more. Out. 
Abs engaged. Two more. Reach that weight. Out. So you want to feel that stretch in between. Take it out. Bring yourself up. We got the halo going the other way. Make sure you got a good grip on it. Feet together or apart. Know where that weight is in space. Relation to your head. Four more. Two more. All right, put it down. I guess I'll keep that 20. Back to cardio. One more round. Water if you need it. Again, we got four. Each one is going to be different. So we got lateral movement. Hopefully you have a little bit of space. You can always make it smaller, okay? So I'm going to do a little shuffle move with a drop, okay? One, two, three. Squat. Or it could be two steps. Squat in. Ready? Go. I'm going to go faster than the music. I like to step in so I have to jump out. Ten seconds. I'm going to go faster. Three, two, one. <laughs> Two second bonus. Reach down, knee pull. Same side. Three, two, go. Up. You can put a hand down if you need that support. Big movement. There's only 30 seconds. Now see, I'm letting my foot turn, my knee turn. Three, two, one. Oh, we got the other way. Hey, what a surprise. How you feel? I hope you feel good. It's okay if you're a little tired. You ready? Down. Now I want you to picture the finish line. Everyone you love and care about is there waiting for you. So push yourself toward them. Because they're cheering you on. I am. Three, two, one. One more. One more ever today. It's like I'm just scolding you. Unless you go and do more. Just remember, hit is not something you want to do every day. Okay? It's a lot, it's stressful on the body in a good way. Too much is too much. Right? That's about as obvious as it gets. We got quick feet. I'm gonna do this on the mat because I'd make a lot of noise in here. Here we go. Come on. You know what I don't want you to think? And now you're going to think it because I told you not to. Stop thinking about what everything is jiggling. You know what? Muscle jiggles. It does. And you know what? Even if you have more fat, you still have value. You're still just as awesome. I have days where I'm like, man, if I could just you know, look like this. But you know what? My life wouldn't be any different. It's all in my head. I think it'd be different. The people who love me would still love me. Right? Three, two, one. <laughs> I didn't finish it. How do you feel? 
I hope you feel good. Big inhale one more time. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. 